The film 365 DNI, what does DNI even mean? I'll tell you what it means. DNI obviously means did not insert, although it's very realistic and it looks like they're actually doing it, they aren't. Because the actors have come out themselves and said, we're just really good actors. Yeah, sure, anyone can recreate those hot, emotional, steamy scenes. Are they lying? Who knows? So 365 DNI is a Polish film and DNI actually means days. So you'll see on Netflix right now, it's 365 Days, which is integral to the storyline and the plot that we'll get onto in a moment. Firstly, this film, sex sells, doesn't it? If you have a film that's kind of a soft porno, it's gonna do well because people love it. Look at Fifty Shades of Grey. Was it that good? Honestly, ask your heart deep inside. But sex does sell. And that's why 365 DNI is doing extremely well and breaking records. One thing that really got me about this film was the music choice. Not, not the music choice when they're in the club and they're dancing. They're pretty standard tunes that you can dance to and you're like, yeah, cool music. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the sex scenes. The sex scene music choices when they're all, when they're about to do all their business. Really weird. Very strange music choices for that. If you're gonna watch the film, watch it for the choices of music to marry up well with the visual thing they're doing. Preposterous, in my opinion. The plot of 365 DNI is a guy called Massimo. He is a Sicilian gangster. Mwah! And he falls in love with a woman. He's got these really big, creepy binoculars. Well, they're normal sized binoculars, anyway. A bit different than mine. And he looks at this girl on the beach, and then he gets injured, his dad dies. No spoilers, happens right at the start of the film. Five years later, he's on the hunt. All he can think about is this girl that he saw on the beach. He finds her, he kidnaps her, and he says, I give you three, six, five days, and then he said DNI, to fall in love with me, one whole year. And then he says to her, I promise I will not put my hands on you until you ask. But the thing I found very, unsettling with that is when he's saying I promise I won't put my hands on you until you ask he's literally groping her this Massimo is a bit of a hypocrite and throughout the film actually it's classed as a, a romance film a romantic I didn't really find it romantic I romantic films to me The Vow The Notebook Ghostbusters those films they got you care about the characters you care about their relationship develop and evolve this Massimo guy is just a forceful man. And yes, he may be muscular and similar in appearance to me and dark features, but he's just a bully. He's a bully, he's forcing her. He's obviously got a load of power because he's a gangster. And the lady called Laura, well, you can pretty much guess what happens, but don't say, I won't touch you unless you ask me to, and then actually touch. Jeez, a kind of completely doesn't work. This film is, I don't really want to say it's worth a watch. I watched it because of the hype, because of what you see on social media. The storyline is dire. It ends ugh, abruptly and you just go, really? Really? I could give you a little bit of a lesson in script writing to finish the end off. I hit the curtain there. But... It's honestly, ugh, it's breaking records. It's doing well because it is a soft porno. That's it. I mean, you don't even see it go in. I found this film a little bit immature as well. Like there was copious amounts of montages of him taking her shopping and she buying all these extravagant gifts. And it's like, who cares? You're promoting being kidnapped by a gangster and having to do stuff he wants to do. But, oh, but it's okay because I got a Gucci handbag. No. Immature. Irresponsible. Didn't like those montages. Cut them out. Time for my score. I'm going to score this film 
three out of 10. There's no way, there's no way it could be worth more than three out of 10. And the reason why I'm saying three out of 10 is because the scenes were very good. They were well acted. I understand why people think they were actually doing it, but they weren't, as we discussed earlier, the actors have said, we did not do it. There was absolutely no penetration. So, that's why it's a three out of 10 storyline. Character development, who cares? But, I've said it before, pretty much on this video, and I'll say it again, sex sells. I wanna know, is 365 DNI or 365 Days, is it on your list of movies to watch? Are you into those kind of films? Hey, nobody's judging. If you are, let me know. Tell me what you think about it. As always, give me a cheeky like, comment down below. That's a bit weird. And hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.